um, is Sri Vero, a spiritual and environmental practitioner. She co-founded Alliance for Economic Democracy in 2017 with her partner, Alex, is employed as a Habitat Restoration Project Manager, is a co-leader co and founder of the 500 Women Scientists Main Pod, and volunteers as a conservation activist and scientist on the Legislative Committee of the May Association of Wetland Scientists. She holds a master's degree of the Master's of Science degree in biology and seeks to inspire ecological consciousness in her community while working toward purchasing land for a botanical sanctuary and research fund. Welcome to Thank you, Beth. Um, happy to be here in the Four Lakes region in the Ho-Chunk People's Territory. Thank you for that land acknowledgement. Um, I should say on, on Friday, I accepted a new position as a watershed restoration practitioner manager. So I was happy to hear your um, your talk on economics, James, involve ecological terminology. And so my my take on economic democracy is really as an ecologist and a biologist. And I think about the economy or economic democracy in our community as including all the humans and the non-humans in our bioregion, in our area. And in that sense, the economy is a series of relationships with these beings in our supply chain for our products or services. And considering how can all of these beings get their needs met. So I would expand the definition of economic democracy to include an equitable distribution to all humans and non-humans. So one of the ways that, well, so there are two, two major uh, organizations that I, I use as a vehicle to uh, go about doing that. And each of us are working towards a vibrant and sustainable, healthy world for all. Um, first, I worked with the Union of Concerned Scientists in a Science and Democracy Fellowship, and what I had to do was to encourage other scientists to recognize their responsibility to use the expertise gained in their own fields to advocate for science and fact-based policies in our midterm election so that the um, detrimental effects that are that we know occur are named and uh, fight back against uh, disinformation or fights attacks on science. So making facts and science-based policy uh, arguments and advocating for that has been one way to engage my colleagues who tend to live in the silo in the community and recognize the connection between between our degrees, our practices, and how we can uh, really stand up for our neighbors, human and non-human alike. And uh, during that fellowship, I uh, learned about the 500 women scientists who have this platform right up front that invites those who identify as women and those who identify as scientists. So it really makes the platform open to engage um, and build community among other women scientists, also reaching to use our platform of education and relative privilege to speak up on behalf of environmental injustice and bring our specific um, expertise to play and um, one example is uh, coastal resiliency. So I'm a wetland scientist and my expertise is in coastal ecology. And I'm part of a statewide network. We're, we're not a cooperative group, but we are working to understand what the human and non-human needs are in face of climate change, sea level rise, increased precipitation, storm surge, and in the case of fish passage and um, 
transportation corridors, dams, and connecting the freshwater ecosystems to the marine environment, and really um, debating, bringing all of our best questions to the table to figure out how can we communicate with municipalities, with uh, individual landowners to um, help them see that their environment and investment in the environment is an investment in their well-being as well as the well-being of the fish and the um, increased water quality that comes with um, un unrestricted flow. Um, time's going three, five minutes, okay. <laughs> and uh, the other organization that Beth mentioned is the Alliance for Economic Democracy, where uh, we created a conference in, uh, last year in November and brought people together who were already practitioners in the cooperative movement in the new economy. And what well, the take home for me was really that it's all about building connections with one another. It's about getting people in the same room and finding out what your experiences are, where your similarities are, and how to really build community. And I think that the intersection between social justice and the economy, uh, the cooperative movement is a very right place for building new relationships and listening to uh, different perspectives to understand how, uh, how to be in a right relationship with, with the different beings, human and non-human, in our community. So my understanding and approach to economic democracy is really just about being in the right relationship 